Good morning. Welcome back to Tech Talks. I'm Chris Bormas from Pre Corporation, and today we're going to talk about O ring attachments, servicing, maintaining, and trying to figure out the proper O ring to fit that patient that just walked in the door. So, first off, let's talk about why we want to use an O ring attachment. The O ring attachment is the most resilient option available for stud attachments. It's omniplanar, meaning it provides hinge movement, it provides vertical movement, and it provides lateral movement. This movement helps protect your abutments, meaning the O-ring is a great option for weak implants, smaller diameter implants and weaker bone, natural teeth that you're not sure about the longevity of. And it's why many implants have O-rings. They help protect the narrow diameter implants that are in contact with the bone. So again, O-rings are the most resilient option. They help protect your abutments. So when the patient walks into your practice or you get the phone call in your laboratory from your clinician asking which O-ring size do, you, do I need for this patient, there's a couple things we'll ask you to take a look at. The first is accurate measurements of the abutment. Now, a millimeter ruler is not going to be as precise as we need it to be. We're going to be talking about the difference between 1.2, 1.4, 1.8 millimeters. A bully gauge might work, but a precision dial caliper, especially an electronic one, is the best way to measure the diameter. And when we talk about diameter, there's two measurements when it comes to O-rings. The first is the diameter of the head. That's the diameter of the ball, the widest part of the abutment. The second measurement is the neck or the area underneath that ball where the O-ring sits. Most of the time, the difference or drop between the diameter of the ball and the neck is 0.4 to 0.8 millimeters. Meaning, if you measure the diameter of the ball at two millimeters, you want an O-ring that's gonna be in that 1.4 range right around there. If you can get either one of those measurements, you can go directly to the O-ring size chart in our product book on the website and figure out the exact O-ring you need to fit the patient. If you can't get that measurement, one of the things you can do is take the existing prosthesis that has the O-rings in it, flow a little bit of impression material or lab putty into the O-ring. Let it start to set, remove the impression material putty, and then measure the area you impressed inside the O-ring. That'll let you know the internal diameter of the O-ring, and again, match that up with the internal diameters of the O-rings on our size chart, you know what size to get. The third option, and this is probably the, the best time-saving option, we have a combo pack of O-rings. Five sizes, two of each size. That way when the patient presents, you can go directly to your combo pack, pull out three, four sizes, and simply try them onto the abutment in the mouth. See which size is gonna give you the best fit and best retention. It's simple, it's easy, and it works. Thank you for joining us today for Tech Talks by Preet, part one of our three-part series on the O-ring attachment system. Interested in learning more about the products you've seen here today? Visit us on the web at www.preet.com. Have a question you'd like to submit? Email us at techtalks at preet.com. That's T-E-C-H-T-A-L-K-S at preet.com.